I took a bit of a risk and changed all my clubs bar two. Successful season as well, I got down to nine handicap. So what have I changed this year? Should we have a look? Let's crack on. So as I said at the top of the show, it was a very, very successful season last season. It was one of those ones to try and prove myself a little bit. I got down to 9.6 the year before, uh, and then it was a case of, right, can I actually punch through that, just that little bit, and punch through to the 9 handicap? cap? And I managed to do it. I, 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 last competition of the year, the last medal of the season, and I got down to 9.2. I can't be any more thrilled than that to actually say I finished the season. Uh, as a single finger handicapper, finally. That, that's number one goal achieved. So moving on to this season, I thought, right, have I had to play about a bit more with equipment, or should I just stick to what I've got? I thought, no, I, I, I'm honestly, God's honest truth, Rick knows this, the lads who, who play golf with me all know this, I am a bit of a tinker with my sets. Not dramatically, but I tinker a little bit. And something got found out when I was doing the, the tour caddy experience uh, with Steve Brotherhood was, there's a few gaps in my cl in my, my clubs in general, and the set was built. So he, he questioned me on that, did Steve? I thought, you know what? Come the following season, come this season, 2020, I'll try and address those and fill them, but in a way that I can I can manipulate the set a little bit. So let's get into this one and let's take a look at it. So the first thing I've changed and the first thing I've gone into is I did have the forward. I had the Stenson, which was my XOT2 Callaway forward. Loved it, brilliant, but it just tended to pop up just a little bit. So instead, I've got that. It's a Cobra F9 three wood, but it can be changed on the loft. So I can actually play about with this and make it into up to a 16 degree loft. I've got it set at standard at 14 and a half. So that's pretty much there thereabouts three wood setting. So shaft wise, this is what we've got, okay? And we've got it in a hazardous smoke. Now, we'll come back to this little bad boy in a minute. Into the next fairway wood, we've changed about a little bit more. So we've gone for something a bit different. And I've gone and got myself this. So I've got the brand new SZ Cobra. What can I say about this? This is a rocket ship. It's an absolute, genuine rocket ship. When I was testing this for getting fitted by the Cobra guy, I was getting on average 219 carry from a standard five wood loft setting at 18.5 degrees. The, the four wood wasn't, was averaging just a little bit over that. This is a five wood averaging over that, averaging 219. That's brilliant, and I can play about with this and put it up to 17 degrees, which is what my forward was at. So if I want to play about with it, I can do, and there's a reason why I might be playing about with it in a minute. So, shaft-wise, hazardous smoke yellow. There we go. Now, I haven't put this on the course yet. This has only been used on the range and in the same when I was doing the fitting. But this is, this is something I'm really, really looking forward to, actually getting out on the course in competition and playing with it. I've not had this long at all. I got this in January time, just before I was going over for the golf mates trip. I do like it, I must admit. But, now I've got that, that SZ, the, oh, sorry, the SZ, whichever way you want to be in, in the continents of the world, it's a rocket ship. And I'm a little bit unsure about this shaft. I'm not too sure if it's the right one for me. So, it wasn't a botch fitting, but it was a bit of a rushed fitting that I had done at the time uh, at the shop I went and bought it from. So, I mean, two minds what to do with it. Do I either get refitted and get, and I think it's the hazardous yellow shaft that I should be getting in with this. And for the cost of what it might be for the shaft, is it worthwhile me trading a couple of other products in and this and upgrading to the three wood for the SC in the yellow? I'm not too sure, time's going to tell, I'm going to have a bit of a play about and I'll figure out what I'm going to do. But I will let you know, when I do it, I'll put an update, so then you can all see what I've got. Anytime there's ever a change, I'll put the change on that and I'll let you know when I do a video. So what else have we changed? Let's take a look. So, iron-wise, I've stayed the same. I'm still in the MP18 MMCs. Absolutely love those. I am so happy 
I went across to the Mizuno family last season. They, they really have been a, a game changer for me, without a shadow of a doubt, an absolute game changer for me. Um, and I can see myself sticking with those for a long, long time to come, or at least with the Mizuno family for a long time to come. So I got myself a new wedge, so that is what I've got. 52 degrees, 8 degrees of bounce in an F grind as the SM7. Now, I could have waited for the SM8, I could have done, but budgets are budgets and I had to try and wait and see. So I've gone and got myself the SM7 in a 52 and I've got that on it. Can you see that there? Hawkeye. This is going to be my pin seeker. So you're probably asking yourself, why the change? What, what's, what's the point in playing about it? Am I going to confuse myself a little bit more? Time will tell. I'd like to think I'm not going to. But the reason for the change is, as I said before, Steve noticed a little bit of a gap in terms of where things were. I didn't have, I didn't have any flexibility, basically. So now what this does is give me an opportunity to have some flexibility within my set for weather conditions, courses I'm going to be playing, whether it be Lynx, Parkland, Heathland, whatever. I can play about with things a little bit. So the, the essence is, is that, as it stands, the wet weather we've had, I kind of want maximum distance at the moment in terms of the, the, the poor weather that we've had. So I can go driver, three wood, five wood, lose the three hybrid, I sit me four hybrid down into my irons from five iron down to pitching wedge. I can then go 52 degree wedge, 58 degree wedge and putter. Now, coming to the summer months when you could say spin, stop around the greens, where I could be a bit more playful around the greens is more of a necessity. I can go back to kind of what I already had. So what I do there is I, I can change the three wood into a 16 degree loft or change the five wood up to 17 degrees, re-add the three hybrid and then add back in the 50 degree, the 54, but take out that 52 degree wedge and therefore I'll still have the permitted clubs I wanted. So I can play around based on how the course conditions might be at that time. It gives me a little bit more to play about with. I don't feel it's going to confuse myself enough because when I'm going out for practicing, I'll put everything in there and I will play different shots with each club. So I can feel really comfortable with what I've got. That's the key. I need to be comfortable in what I have. Otherwise, what is the point? Now, we have one more change and you've probably guessed it knowing what I'm like. Yeah, yeah, it's a putter. So, what have I got? I got that. That had to be done. I, I just I just couldn't not get it. I saw it in the, in, the, in, the, in the shop and it was just going by me, by me, by me. It's the square back. It's absolutely gorgeous. I took that out for a test run at um, Portugal when I went the other week with the golf mates and loved it the feel off the face was fantastic i know i've said that about different putters i've had over the time i went to the better nardini last year putted great with that and then as the season went on i just was kind of falling out of favor and i played about with a few putters went back for another lesson changed my setup again so i was a bit confused in the end i thought right i'm going to go back to the original setup i had that lee gave me at the start of last season i'm going to go right let's get a putter that I can either change between either the better nardi or with this, I don't need to change about end of the day. This, this is a quality putter. This should last me a long, long time. It asked me for the bloody price of it. So why not? Let, let, let's go and treat myself. Let's go and get a Scotty. Let's see if it can make a difference and let's see what we can get with it. So, oh, you guys wanted to know what else was in my bag last year as well, didn't you? Right, let's go take a look at that as well. I'm going to the locker room now because it's getting a little bit chilly out there and it's getting dark and I'm old and I'm a wimp. So this is what I've got in the bag, okay? Some of you asked last year going, well, you said what's in the bag, but what is actually in the bag? This is what's in the bag, okay? So let's go through it. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up to the top up here. Okay, okay. So what I've got, we'll start off down this end. I'm using Titleist 25 Pro V1X once more. And I'm using, as you can see there, and it's got Dobby written on it again as my identifier. Now the Trident Align tool, this is then you can set the golf ball up perfectly to your aim point for the breaking put on your on the greens okay or directly the hole if you feel it's a straight put now with aim point i'm not mean doing all the fingers like what i'm doing i'm just saying everybody always has an aim point regardless there is always an aim point to a put you just don't know it is because you see the curve of the break or whichever you want to look at it 
So the idea is, is that you square this little pitchfork up with the golf ball. So you'd actually do it kind of like that and you line it all up so it's absolutely plumb bob perfect. And the thing is with this, is you can move this around to where you feel your start line will be. So I know that that's kind of like a, a layman's room 101 way of explaining it, but that's pretty much what the Trident Align system's like. So I thought I'm gonna give it a bash, see how it feels. I'm also interested to see whether or not it takes longer for you to align the golf ball to the hole. Is that gonna take any longer in a pre-shot routine? Some people have already got issues about, you know, lining golf balls up, keep going back to it, are you starting the line right or whatever. This will be an interesting one to see if this is going to take any longer and actually slow play down. But I'm going to practice it first before I try it on the golf course. Let's go and have a look at the rest of the stuff that's in the bag. So what we also have as well is I've treated myself to a flight scope Mevo. Okay. Now this is for some more upcoming vlogs I've got coming up this year. I wanted to use this or get hold of one of these so that I can do my own distancing and my own gapping for my golf clubs. It says me trying to pay to go into a studio all the time, or if I want to get out on the golf course, I can just try about with it and play around when I'm actually on the golf course. It's so small, it's literally, it's, it's actually smaller than my range finder. So that's that's the difference. It's, it's really, really titchy and you can get that into your pocket, uh, not in your pocket, into your actual golf bag. Dead, dead easy. And what I've found of it so far has been really, really good. Um, and actually pretty accurate as well on its distances. The only just carry distances were the Mevo Plus that's only just come out, that's retail about £1,700 over here in England, it does your carry distances and your rollout distances and also gives you all the data as well. But that was just a bit more of a push that I couldn't afford to, to get. So that, for what I need it for, is absolutely perfect. It'll come, in, it'll come in handy for some new vlogs I've got coming up as well, which I'm planning. Naturally, I've got to be safe, got to be careful. Got myself some sun spray tan. Here is my Vizio putty mat, which I have rolled up. Always practice with these on the greens just to try and get my, my stroke uh, in, in the right place and where I want it to be. We've then got, coming down this end, my Tour Caddy Experience bag, which I got when I had the round with Steve Brotherhood last year. Again, I'm, people might think it's a plug. I'm not bothered what you think, to be fair. This is the best bit of money I've spent for a long, long time on my game and helped me massively going into the, the second half of last season. And it proved that with my scores, it proved that for me to get my handicap down. That is with every penny, not this actual, but the two carry experience is with every single penny that you will actually pay towards your game for this season. I rate it that highly. It's as good as having lessons. It's brilliant. So we've also then got a putty mirror, uh, which is always useful. That's, I'm needing that one in terms of, uh, with my shoulder alignment, something I was working on last year with Lee Silver. Then I've got what people think is the most bizarre contraption on the side of my golf bag. I have this. Now this is a company called Vicarious Golf, who unfortunately I believe have gone out of business. And it's a damn shame, because what this does is actually help clean, well naturally it's a towel, as you can see, you're not dumb as a stumps there. It's a towel, but it's a towel with a brush, let's have a look. So this, this clips onto your bag, okay. Clips on there, clips it on. In there are brushes. So you put the golf club in, in there, clean it, put it, that looks so wrong. But put the golf club in, clean it all up, it doesn't scratch, I've got four dines now, doesn't scratch them at all, dry it with a towel. So you've got everything all in one place. I've used this when I've been carrying on tour. Yes, I got laughed at and then people looked at what I was doing and going, actually that's not a bad really thing to have. Some people liked it, some people love it, some people think I'm stupid having it. I don't give a monkeys. I've got this and I absolutely love it. My clubs are always clean. So naturally, I've got my RNA USGA rules book. But what I also got, what I got was the Expert Golf Get There Golf Rules Quick Reference. I find this is actually easier to use than what this RNA. As a tip for you, try and make it easier to find what rules you want or make it in a way that's easier to follow for people, especially juniors of the game. They don't want to try and go through this crap to try and find what you need. This is so much easier. If you can put something that, that's in, a, in an easy way to try and find, flipping it over, all the different pictures, the whole nine yards, and the I'm a bloke. I don't want to see look, look at words all the time. Pictures are brilliant. So, going to the next little bit in here, 
this is my little knapsack of goodness. I've got all sorts of teaser in here and stuff, but I have two things that I'll be lost without. I have this, my 50 peseta Barcelona coin, which I will be absolutely lost with. This is my ball marker and I have, and I've had this since 1993. This came out in 1992, I've had this since 1993. So since I first played golf and then I have this. Today's golfer, pitch mat repairer, which again, I got I think in 94. I'd be lost without these. These are my two favorite things. And if these are went missing, I think I'd be absolutely lost because I've had them since I started playing golf. A bit sad and I know it, but I can't help myself. I need these. Toothbrush. All right, this is a Colgate one, all the rounds are available. But this is then for when I'm finishing around the golf and I can clean my clubs a little bit further with this disposable travel toothbrush. T-wise, I use the uh, Pride Professional T-System. So this is one of the plastic ones that's almost indestructible, but it's the blue one. And I use the, the small little short wooden ones for par threes. So I love those, they're absolutely brilliant. Going to gloves, now I've just got the Pro 18 golf gloves, uh, which I won the other week. I'm gonna try these out for the rest of the season how, and see how they go. I've got other gloves if I need them, but these ones I do like what I'm trying so far. Now, I just showed you before, I've got the Bushnell Tour V4, and this is a brilliant, brilliant little piece of kit. Love it, it's got the vibration technology on it for as well for the flags. So I use that one quite a lot. I have my little stick for my little tripod for when I want to put my uh, camera, or sorry, my phone on there if I want to be camera, and I've now got a new adaption so I can actually put my tablet on it if I want to. So that's two really good pieces of kit and it's bendy as well, which is always good. I have my putting line, my string line. So again, this is from Vizio Putting. So that's always useful. Coming up to the top here now. I got myself, because I'm a bit sad. I got myself a logo hat. This is from London Snapbacks. Really cool hat, great quality. They've even got my website on the back of it as well, which I need to start doing some work on it. I've got myself here a Ben Row 3XS Lite gimbal. So I got this the other month. I'm still having a bit of a play with it to get used to it, but start seeing some more bits of vlogging and B roll stuff coming out with this one. This is only £70, guys. You don't need to pay bucket loads of money on and equipment on gimbals. This is 70 quid. It's even got but I'll get a little boom microphone to pop it into there. Then I'll link it up with a wire into here from the back of my phone. Perfect. It works an absolute treat. Like I said, I'm still getting used to it, but it's brilliant. I love it. Hat wise, again, I've got this from G4 Golf. So, golf is my rehab. I got that from down at the Grove last year, and it is. Golf has been my rehab. This is the possibly the best hat I could possibly have, which is perfect after everything that's happened with my mental health issues that I've had, and also through the accident, which, which caused the mental health issues from that with the depression I've suffered. When I'm feeling down, I'm feeling a bit blue, I put this on and this is just, it's just a helpful reminder. It sounds a bit sad and daft, but it's a helpful reminder. Golf is my rehab, love it. Going to here now, I've got bad wrists. Uh, if that's not a euphemism, uh, but I've got bad wrists. I had injured it quite badly the other year, sprained it and did the, the ligaments in it. So I used the sport tape. So I put that around both wrists now for impact damage, but also when the wrist is really playing up with the ligaments, I have like almost like an inverted crucifix that I put it on as, and it really, really helps me and supports my hands uh, and my wrists, especially when you're going through impact. I have a tendency to, as you know, to cast from the top. So I'm going in there and then hitting the turf on a, a, where the, the wrist has actually come back in itself. It's not pretty, it doesn't work well. Scorecard holder. In this scorecard holder are my yardages for this year. So these are, get this book there, these are my carry distances. And you can see there I've got my wedges going uh, full, shoulder, and halfway through the waist, waist height. So I've got all different sort of carry distances. This is something I'll get monitored throughout this year, and I'll be using that with the Flight Scope Mevo as well. So that's a really good, again, this is mega, mega useful for me. And then finally, the Pro 18 baseball hat that I got the other day. Really lovely, love the quality on it. Absolute bob on. It's not a plug, it's just being honest with you. I just think it looks really, really cool. And they've, like I said, they've got six selection of hats on the website. 
uh, it's worthwhile going to take a look because I think these are really, really cool hats to, to, to have and wear. So, that is that. That's my golf bag, everything that's in it from the golf clubs to all the accessories to everything else. Things will change as the season goes on and where it does, I will give you a heads up. If you've liked what you've seen on the video, please give us a subscribe, give us a like. And guys, all the best for this year. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic golfing season. Take it easy, guys. See you soon.